Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is V3 ZAG Suraj here. Today we'll be discussing about RTL SDR V4 dongle and how to make it work on SDR Sharp application for Windows. Let's talk a little bit about uh, V4 version. As for the physical appearance, it is pretty much similar to that of uh, V3 version. The V4 version is basically based on the R828D tuner and uh, there are a lot of features as compared to the V3 version. The most interesting part is uh, improved HF reception and uh, this uh, particular dongle uses uh, built-in up converter instead of a direct sampling. The other features are like uh, improved filtering and improved power supply design. Here is my setup. RTL STR is connected to a laptop uh, using uh, USB port. The SMA connector is connected to an external EFSW antenna through this coax cable. Now let's start the configuration part. Open your PC browser and uh, go to RTL STR uh, uh, block slash v4. Uh, there you can find a, a well documented uh, user guide related to uh, RTL STR dongle uh, v4. So as you can see, uh, there are some circuitry changes have been made in the new design, and uh, for that reason. Uh, new driver need to be installed and uh, also uh, the interesting part is that this uh, new driver is backward compatible with the uh, older versions of the RTL STR so uh, first of all we need to replace the existing drivers with the new driver and uh, as per the description it is an easy task so we will be focusing uh, uh, more about uh, SDR sharp software uh, that uh, I found uh, very useful uh, while uh, working on these RTL dongles. All you need to do is uh, go to the root directory of SDR Sharp and uh, you have to rerun the install RTL STR.bat file again and uh, make sure that uh, your internet connectivity is on so that it will automatically download the packages and uh, replace the existing drivers now let us connect the RTL SDR to the PC and uh, let's check the device maintenance so as per the device maintenance I can see a new device has been detected now let us browse to the root directory of STR Sharps application here you have to Find the file named install hyphen RTL SDR dot pat. Now you have to execute it. Make sure that you are connected to internet. The batch file will automatically download the required drivers and replace the existing drivers. Once it is completed, exit the window. Now let us open SDR Sharp application. As you can see, the device detected in the device manager is uh, still showing the same icon. This is just an observation I am sharing. As we already know that uh, V4 dongle have inbuilt up converter. So we can uh, change the sampling mode uh, to quadrature sampling and uh, let us first explore uh, the VHF frequencies so the simple and easiest uh, way I uh, think is we can tune to a broadcast uh, station on uh, VHF range so I am getting few stations here uh, around this frequency let's try to tune it Okay, uh, so okay, here we go. Uh, let's increase the RF gain of the tuner. Okay, so excellently we are able to receive the broadcast FM signal. So there are other stations also at around uh, 98 MHz frequency, an excellent copy. Now next part is uh, let's explore the HF part. So as we already know there is an inbuilt up converter 
still uh, let us explore the user manual and the manual says uh, we don't need to modify the sampling mode uh, to direct sampling as we uh, used to do for the older version here we can use the same settings of quadrature sampling mode and uh, we can straight away go to the lower frequencies of HF so currently I am uh, trying to monitor the HF frequencies and uh, it's uh, daytime here uh, so let's uh, check the upper brand like uh, 21 megahertz and I will try to monitor the digital frequencies of, uh, like FT8 uh, frequency uh, to check whether I am able to copy the FT8 signals so here we go I am able to excellently copy uh, this uh, uh, FT8 uh, digital mode signals and uh, I can straight away modify the RF gain of this particular tuner uh, with the settings uh, over here so it is a uh, very interesting and uh, a very good uh, feature addition uh, as we all know that uh, this v4 is a limited edition so uh, uh, you can uh, grab one uh, as earlier as possible if you wish to have one in your collection So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, things that uh, we can explore uh, using this new version. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and do share. Thanks for watching 73s.